As he has the answer to the city's drug epidemic. Listen. We will do what makes sense to get people into treatment. Part of the program are low dollar gift cards as an example. But that is part of a, a philosophy to do the outreach and to develop the relationships such that people realize if they don't change the way they will die. You heard that right. A new Seattle pilot program will give gift cards to addicts who attend treatment as an incentive to stop using. Seattle-based senior fellow with the Discovery Institute, Jonathan Cho, shot that disturbing video, shot the disturbing video that we just showed you. He joins us now. Jonathan, I want to set this up a little bit before I get to my point. Seattle currently has a really bad drug problem, fentanyl and meth to be, you know, more specific. As of March 15th, a little over a month ago, 172 people in King County died of overdose, an average of 2.32 a day. So now the mayor is basically wanting to give prizes out to people to get them to stop using drugs. I mean, this is this is a real story. Um, Honestly, it just seems like it's gambling with people's lives. What do you think? Yeah, it really depends who you ask. Look, I think most of the reasonable people here in Seattle want this to work. They're saying it's new, it's innovative, it's never been tried before. But on the flip side of that, you have critics already coming out and saying, why are we gamifying addiction? Basically, it's like going to a Chuck E. Cheese and you know trying to get points. Uh, again, if the addicts follow through and stay clean and sober. Um, look, at the end of the day, uh, it's it's something that the city wants to try and is willing to go after. But look, it comes down to intervention. It comes down to requirements. So we'll see how this goes. We're just going to have to wait and see. You know, a, a lot of things, I think it was in um, Seattle or Portland, one of the two uh, that has a really bad drug problem. They're, they, they'll probably end up taking these gift cards, buying water bottles, because that's what they do, these drug addicts. They buy these water bottles, they dump them out, they get it for cash, and then they go buy more drugs. So what is the solution to this? Um, I can't see that gift cards and prizes and tokens is going to help. What do you think they should be doing for the root causes of this? Yeah, look, I talked to so many addicts on the streets, as you see from my reporting. I talked to homeless people as well. And, you know, eight out of 10 homeless people here in Seattle are addicted to some form of illicit drug. They all say uh, at the end of the day, they want community. They want people to walk with them. They want to get off these drugs in most cases. Uh, but they, the support services aren't there. The treatment isn't there. The root cause is, at the end of the day, mental illness, drug addiction, and also broken relationship. If those areas aren't addressed intentionally with intervention, I think we're just going to see this crisis spiral out of control. And that's a great point you made, Ashley. The concern already is, again, some of these gift cards are going to be flipped for pennies on the dollar so these addicts can buy more drugs. And on uh, the flip side of that, you already have these addicts going out and stealing from stores merchandise and going onto the street corners again and selling these items to buy more drugs. So again, they're wondering why will gift cards be any different? So when you look at, at drugs in America, why do you think it is that um, really America as a whole, including our leaders and, and just people in the community, why do you think they don't take drug addiction more seriously and treat it like an actual illness like it is? I, I think there are a lot of politics behind it as well, but I know that Fox News has reported on this. Look, a lot of the supply is coming in from China. Then it's going to the cartels in Mexico and our borders are porous. Look, if the Biden administration really wanted to get at it, they need to talk to China. But we know that the China-U.S. relationship right now is probably at an all-time low. We've seen what China can do with COVID. If they want to shut this drug supply down, if they wanted to shut down COVID, that's a country they can do like right, right away, snap of a finger. But they haven't done it yet. So we've got to cut off the supply. We've got to cut off the flow of drugs coming in, and we've got to save this generation right now with intentional intervention. You know, Jonathan, in these big cities, you know, New York as well, when I drive to work, it's nothing to see someone huffing paint cans or doing drugs on the side of the street, talking to themselves. You can't imagine that they want to actually live like that. So when you talk to these drug addicts and these people on the street, do they tell you they feel like they're being enabled? You know, they won't use the word enabled, but sadly, at this point, they feel like they've been left behind. You know, many of them feel like they're on their own. They've got to figure it out themselves, and their community is the street. So until we give them other alternatives, other options, until we come around them with community, 
again, this vicious cycle continues, and we've got to have more media coverage, especially at the national level. We know these issues are not brand safe. They're icky. They're ugly. It's not easy to sell this stuff next to a diaper ad, but we've got to be covering this more ferociously. So when you heard that gift cards, these, these low-dollar amount gift cards are going to be given out, what do you think? Just a waste of time? <laughs> You know, I think we've laid out our case. I think no doubt there are going to be some people who take advantage of the gift cards and actually maybe succeed. But others, I think, will try to sell some of these gift cards. And again, why go for gift cards when addicts already know they can steal from the stores in Seattle because the penalty, the lack of enforcement isn't there? You know, yesterday I read a stat. Over $30 billion was spent on medical marijuana last year. That's more than Americans spent on chocolate. Last year it was double, actually. And it makes me nervous. You talk about the future. If we don't address situations, you talk about the future and how it's just going to get worse. That, to me, makes it seem like it's going to get worse because a lot of times they say marijuana is just that gateway drug. Um, and that makes me very nervous for America. Jonathan Cho, thank you so much for your time this morning. Stay on it. Hey, thank you. You're welcome.